Hello everyone. I've been putting my excavator to work lately. It's super important to grease it every eight hours of operation. Since I don't have a user manual, I've been figuring out based on my observations and what I have learned from YouTube. Today, I want to show you how I've been doing it. Hopefully, I'm getting it right and maybe it'll help anyone else with the same machine. If you spot anything I've missed, feel free to drop a comment. Since MP46 and MP30 essentially have the same structure, I believe the greasing instructions are the same. There are two types of uh, grease fittings on this machine. There's the regular one that sticks out. You can just use the regular grease coupling to grease it. And there's the recessed one. The total, if I counted it correctly, the standard one that stick out there are like total 10 of this on the side of the machine there are four of this there's one two three four on this side that's all i can find and on this side the standard grease fitting there's one two three four so that's eight that's nine then there's uh, this hidden one so that's 10. And this type of, uh, some people call it a low profile or recessed uh, grease fittings. So that appears to be for each cylinder. There are two of those on each cylinder. There are a total of five cylinders. There's one cylinder, two, three, four, and five. So theoretically, I should have uh, 10 recess fittings. Let's see here. One, two, that's for one cylinder, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And on this side, this cylinder is a nine. I suppose to have a 10, but I suspect that one is this because you can't reach inside there. So there's nine of this uh, recess grease fittings on the cylinders. So total I have 19 greasing points I need to do. I use uh, Lucas Red and Tacky grease. It takes just under one tube of grease to loop the entire machine. I, have I use two grease guns. One has a needle tip I bought from a Napa. The other one has a lock and a loop coupler I bought from Amazon. I absolutely love it. You don't have to press the coupler with one hand while greasing. I paid 15 bucks for the Vever brand, less than half of the name brand. It has worked really well for me so far. So this is for the standard. To pump the grease, you first uh, clean out the, uh, the grease fitting with a piece of rag or paper. Then you start to pump until you see old grease coming out of the the joint for some reason you cannot see old grease coming out like this i'll just uh, blindly pump eight or ten times i'm gonna start with the uh, the standard grease fitting so i can't see anything the inside coming out. i'm uh, doing seven pumps Two grease fittings here, I believe they grease the gears of the undercarriage. One thing I learned from YouTube is you grease this two one time, then you rotate the entire cabin 180 degrees to the other side so the gears can rotate. Then you grease these two points from the other side again to completely grease the undercarriage. Alrighty, so that's this side, four of them. This four, probably the most used joint. I can see it comes out of from the other side. Now, so 
so eight total of ten so I have should have two more so also heavy to use one so I've done a total of nine the last regular one is this one under here so in order to access that I need to move the boom so I'll start the machine move the boom the other way the way to move the boom is to use press this joystick on the top and then move it at the same time and this boom will move then this uh, the zook fitting will ex be exposed and so I can use the grease gun I don't know if I need to grease this every eight hours because I never use this since I'm gonna start the machine anyway I'm going to <clears throat> rotate the whole assembly 180 degrees and grease this again I think I was confused I started to move the entire machine but I just need to rotate the the cabin 180 degrees and also took the time to to move this uh, the boom so I can see the, uh, the grease fitting here I'm gonna grease this one and the other two on the other side so to kill that I want to do I'm gonna re-grease this too supposed to take care of the undercarriage so I'll keep it eight in this case so that's the regular fitting grease all the cylinders you can see I put a ton I don't know <laughs> anyway like I said I would rather Place more than less. Now I've lowered uh, the bucket so I can access uh, the other cylinder grease points from the top. If I count correctly, I have done four, so I have five to go. Alrighty, last two. Total of 19. I hope I didn't miss anything. Thanks for watching.